Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorn. In today's video, I want to talk about ENFP subtypes. And I want to make this video because I think a lot of ENFPs uh, are purely defined by the fact that they are extroverted. I think when I see the popular memes about ENFPs online, everybody will focus on the extroverted characteristics of the ENFP, thus alienating any more intuitive feeling or perceiving variations of the ENFP. Yes, the ENFP can be divided into four general subtypes based on whether you are extroverted, intuitive, feeling or perceiving. What that means is uh, you can either be a person who is more strong in your values, a person who is more focused on figuring out and understanding the world, or a person who is more focused on the pursuit of pleasure and joy and novelty. You can be an ENFP who is more focused on your own freedom and individualism, or an ENFP who is more focused on not being selfish and making something good for the world. So ENFPs can be either extroverted, intuitive, feeling, or perceiving, but when you talk about the ENFP as purely extroverted, you get this really narrow idea of a uh, novelty hunter who recklessly says anything on their mind and who just jumps in without thinking, who has no sense of action or consequence, a person who just wants to enjoy and have fun all the time and can never be serious. And so... What you have to understand is ENFPs exist on a spectrum and no ENFP is going to be the other alike. You know, when you compare two ENFPs who are of different subtypes, you can see a completely different person on the screen. So you can see this ENFP who is really shady and bubbly and full of enthusiasm and ideas and the values and opinions who speaks their mind freely with no regard of anything else. And you have this ENFP that this really a lot more focused on uh, honestly ha maintaining their own freedom and individualism, not wanting to be controlled by other people, not wanting to be misled, not wanting to be used by others. The ENFP really wants to go their own way and has this really sense of unique identity, the person who feels really that they are a misfit. They don't belong in this community. They are different. They are meant to go and do something else or to... Uh, be someone else than everybody else. When you are a perceiving ENFP, a lot of time you are very, very low on extroversion. ENFPs are already one of the personality types that are the least extroverted stereotypically because uh, even the most extroverted ENFPs tend to not be uh, very gluttonous or hedonistic or community oriented. ENFPs are always people that really go against the community and make their own way in life. ENFPs are also people that uh, have a lot of feelings and strong feelings and they're strong in the world and lots of fantasies and expectations and ideals that uh, really put them at odds with the world and make them feel different to other people. And beyond that, ENFPs, they often have like this really strong inner compass of not wanting to do what they have been told, of really not wanting to conform, of really not wanting to be like anyone else. So the ENFP personality type is already not very extroverted when you look at the ENFP from, uh, st from at extroversion from a stereotypical standpoint because extroversion is all about being with people, being a part of the community, blending in, fitting in, being like everyone else, get being popular and uh, being strong and competitive and loud and enjoying being on stage and taking command and taking charge and uh, saying to everybody, this is what we do, this is how we do it, let's go. Uh, already, you know, you don't hear an ENFP do that, and you don't really, as an ENFP, you don't really connect to that. And that can already make a lot of ENFPs feel alienated. And I do notice that a lot of ENFPs do feel alienated in the MBTI and do feel like they are a bit tied down by the stereotypes and memes they see online. And I challenge all ENFPs out there to go out and be creative and to create new memes, <laughs> new uh, ideas about the ENFP, to show new sides of yourself and to really show a picture of the ENFP that's different from what we see at the moment online. So as an ENFP, you can be on a scale in a bell curve, you could say. So you have ENFPs that are more extroverted and ENFPs that are less extroverted. ENFPs that are more intuitive and ENFPs that are less intuitive. ENFPs that are more feeling and ENFPs that are less feeling. 
And finally, ENFPs that are more perceiving and ENFPs that are less perceiving. Now, I say less perceiving, but still perceiving. That's very important because no matter what, you should still be on the scale of intuition and not on the scale of sensing. If you go all the way down, that's when you start wondering, okay, is this person maybe a sensor? If you go all the way down, you can start thinking, okay, properly, I'm an INFP. So you shouldn't take it too extreme. And if you are very introverted, uh, you should still have some doubt about your personal type. And if you are a person that is really focused on your health and comfort and your uh, routine and security, I think you should already start looking, okay, maybe I'm an INFP. Uh, and the thing is, ENFPs, they demonstrate extroversion differently than other ENF extroverts. And so you can compare it to, for example, an ESTJ. Well, an ESTJ is direct and loud and yeah, let's go and let's make something happen. ENFPs, they are extroverts that are focused on possibilities and exploration. So ENFPs, they use extroverted intuition rather than extroverted sensing or extroverted thinking. That makes the ENFP a person that already goes in with uh, a desire to figure things out. And uh, if things are boring or simple or if it's always the same old routine, the ENFP is not going to be interested in it. Often ENFPs tend to go against family or community and go their own way in life. And so they are explorers or adventurers that you know jump on the ship and set sail for a new destination. And that can often cause them to be the solitary extrovert. The solitary extrovert that goes on the individual expedition, the individual journey uh, out into the world, still out into the world. They're still extroverted. They're still exploring and trying things out and doing things in the world around them. They are focused on action. So they are focused on movement. They need to feel that they are moving forward towards the future. ENFPs are people that want to head towards the future. So they want to feel like they are moving, making steps, making movements that lead them towards a goal or destination uh, that they dream of or fantasize about or expect for themselves. So beyond that, the ENFP is a person who will demonstrate a lot of extroverted feeling. And what that means is the ENFP is a person that will, in flow and when confident, uh, seek to connect uh, and to spread their values and to spread their beliefs in the world. So they are often promoters that tend to have a cause or something they care about and they tend to want to convince other people to feel the same way. They tend to say we should work and do something to help the animals or to uh, improve the planet or to better the environment. They can be community oriented in the sense of wanting to go out into the community to make a difference. If they go out into the community it's to make a difference. However, they often feel limited in a community as well and controlled by it. So often they are the individual champions of a cause and often the solitary champions of a cause who uh, will go out or talk or say we should all join this and we should all do that and we should all try to help uh, but not the person who will commit to or get tied down by a group or a tribe that says hey we should all together dress the same way and go the same way and talk the same way and work together towards the same cause because a lot of time ENFPs they struggle with the uh, that aspect of it. The ENFP is typically a person that has strong values and beliefs that are sometimes in conflict with the law or society or social norms. Often they will feel very differently to most people about uh, how we should live and what we should do and what is right and wrong and they can feel alienated because of this because why does nobody else think the way I do? ENFPs they are very aware of and very attentive to other people's feelings and values and beliefs and they like to get to know people but they can often feel disheartened by the fact that other people don't seem to care about the things they do why does nobody else seem to take this cause seriously why does nobody else seem to care about this important issue in our society why does nobody else seem to value this important thing that i discovered and so in peace they are often people that go on individual expeditions explore and find new problems in the world that they believe everybody should care about and that they believe everybody should do something about. And then there are people that go out and talk about this with other people. And then there are people that find that other people don't care or don't know or aren't aware or don't seem to realize the problems with this issue. 
So they are people that try to get people to care and say, okay, why don't you care about this? So why don't you want to do anything about this? And why do you not care or feel the same way I do here? So ENFPs are people that tend to uh, create causes around their expeditions or about their journeys. They tend to uh, discover problems in the society that should be taken care of. Uh, they find problems that should be solved, issues that should be dealt with. And issues that nobody else seems to care about. And the fact that nobody cares about it, that's what makes it important to the ENFP. The fact that nobody cares about this, so I have to do something about it, and I have to talk about and help people care about it. It can also be then that often people begin to notice and care about it, that you will move on to other things. Uh, but you need to know and see people share their feelings and values and to know you are on the same page as other people about it and to make sure other people see the things you do. Other ways you're going to feel misunderstood. The final ENFP subtype is the perceiving subtype. And uh, so the perceiving subtype is the individualist. Uh, one that dresses differently, acts differently, talks differently than anyone else you met. The person that uh, uh, in the group is always the black sheep, the permanent uh, different one, <laughs> the permanent unusual unique person, the unicorn in the group. So the ENFP is a person that tends to take on this role of the unicorn in the group, the one that dresses differently, acts differently, talks differently than anyone else there. So often the fact that they have a little bit of extorted feeling in them is what tends to get them to uh, dress up or act and live and breathe and talk uh, the way their cause or values or ideas would. So they are often the spokespersons of their ideas and their values and their beliefs.